use them that I like. Oh. Come wine for me, cocky till you feel better. Yeah, you are champion. Stop inside me, family. Say hi. Says mama, who's that? Who's that? Say hi. Hey guys, what's up? I didn't know it's me for me, and now me for me featuring my baby. Period. Um, what happened was she looked this she's in three to six months, but that's why this romper, I mean this sleeper is kinda and shout out she got Jessica Simpson sleeper on, period. But this sleeper is like kind of bulky at the top because she still got room in it, but she's so tall that I had to put her into three to six months. Anyways, before we get into the first visit, wow, I sound like gibberish. Before we get any further into this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification for these bangers, y'all. As you guys can see, my baby has started the teething process early, but it's in full effect now. Like she literally, like literally, if I move my hand, she gonna go for it and she gonna go, see, look, 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 see, she gonna, full effect teething mode. Um, she just woke up from a nap. She had a late nap. It's actually 11 o'clock. She had a late nap. That's why she's still in her pajamas, but I'm about to get her ready for the day. Um, we don't got really much to do today. I got a sheen order that came in the mail and I was gonna make these Philly cheesesteak sliders that I saw on TikTok, y'all. <sighs> and find a way to take a nap in between because I'm tired. I've been cleaning all day. My hands are clean, by the way. I've never put my hands in my daughter's mouth. My hands wasn't clean. So I'm about to get her ready for the day and try to get some ponytails in her hair and give her some teeth and medication. Um, the tablets, because look at her. Look, Al Kennedy. You see what she she's biting down on me. So I know for a fact my baby is getting a tooth very, very, very soon, which is bittersweet. Like, oh my gosh, my baby's getting a tooth. Like, her first tooth is coming. But it still makes me feel like, oh my God, my baby's not a, she's still a baby, but it's a milestone. And I'm just glad that I'm not. Do y'all see my chest? I got burnt by Carmen when I was making her porridge last what day last week. And now it's scarred up my skin. Right, mama? Stan, you're a big girl. All right, let me get her ready uh, for the day. I'll be right back. Uh, I look crazy. I am tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. It is now like 4 o'clock or 3.55. Kendall's about to come home from work soon. I have yet to take a nap. I just cleaned the house. Baby girl is just... We're going to do everything baby girl in a second. Let me get my stuff together. So you guys see I'm at the kitchen. We about to cook. I think that's what we got early. I'm not sure, but if I didn't, we about to cook. I said my lunch to 4 425 already. The baby had got some new nipples. Um I ordered her. She's now on the flow two, the medium flow. So I'm about to this is um thingy majiggy. I had water in here, but I must have just throw it out and pour some more water and drop the nipples in here and um sterilize them. So hold on. Um, just to see how she does with them. I don't want to switch all her nipples yet. Cause, but for the most part, she's on a size two. But just to be on the safe side, like she's no longer choke. She chokes sometimes, but um, not as much as she used to before. So she's starting to learn, or she's learned already how to control her flow. So I only bought her six. Let me go grab my pots. And I'll be right back. Starting the table because I truly am, I really just don't feel like going back and forth, y'all. But let me show y'all the ingredients I'm using. Hold on. So I'm about to go ahead and turn this on. <coughs> Throw a little bit at the bottom. Y'all, I am so tired. Like, my baby is just not feeling good. It's just all over the place right now. Hold on. me some garlic paste and some butter because we bought some of the garlic butter to go on top of the bun let me turn this down i gotta get some paper towel to dry that out all right yeah so while the butter while the butter is going <laughs> i have to dry out this pan it's not even the butter while the oil is oily shit if you guys know where that's from then you know 
I'm gonna just go ahead and take this little piece of butter right here, you know, black folk style, and just grease the pan. I don't want none of the bread to be sticking. Oh, this oil is hot here, it's sizzling. I'm just grease this real quick. I'm gonna drop the rest of this in that, which we're gonna turn on low heat in one second. I'm gonna throw in my onions and my, actually, yeah. cook them together so that's going i've never used this before it's my first time buying this so i don't even know how it's about to look for real what the fuck i'm gonna have to cut this shit myself are you shitting me this is why you don't do new shit you don't know look at how they came individually or can i break it up it will break up on its own. It's a thinly sliced. I gotta read this now. Oh no. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I'm gonna take my vegetables out because this is, this is, nah, 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 nah. Hold on. Cook that shit first. I guess once you cook it, you put um then chop it up. No. No, ma'am. No. No. I guess I'm gonna cook this too. I mean it's three in here, but oh it's four in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna cook two of them because no this is what happens when, you, when you're trying to use things that you don't even know for real. so it's like cook on two minutes and then flip and you should be able to chop it so while that's going let's go get this bread I'm trying to see this is like a 9 by 9 I should be able to fit about 12 in here. I know I gotta slice the top in half, but hold on. Oh shit. I should be able to fit like 12 in here, right? Which I think. At least three rows. Let me see. Hold on. This don't fit good. Let me slice this. That's one thing I would say about, about my kitchen. I don't have enough counter space. So I really do hate it, to be honest. Like, it's not... Oh, I could break this up now. Oh, no, I definitely should have... I'm about to go back for you. Y'all, this vlog all over the place. I mean, I'm about to go back for the other other two because this is not enough for this so we're gonna set this in here boom just like that for right now i'm actually gonna put the put the top on it but we, we gonna we gonna come back and handle this in one second not enough meat at all i'm glad it's not already cooked so i'll be able to see it nah that's not enough meat One thing about me, I'm gonna wash my hands. If I could turn off the back for nipples as well. Yeah, look at that. This was not enough meat at all. Hold on, y'all. So I put the ones I chopped to the side. We're gonna have this going. Yeah, because that's not about to work. My oven just preheated in the fridge. Hey, you live and you learn. These could be dinner rolls for Sunday or something. But for right now.
while that's going, I'm gonna turn my butter back here on low. Let's flip this. I can't really cut that up yet. Hold on, it's going, it's coming along. It's coming along. This is my first time making this, like I said to y'all, and it's um. Anything, anything, anything I make turn out good. Anything I make, anything I make turn out good. So to be honest, sorry guys, excuse me, I'm nursing mom. Let me say something. I've seen a lot of people go back and forth about um. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people. I'm gonna turn this butter on low because uh, what the fuck? That other one wasn't working. I've seen a lot of people talking about you know DC Fly Young old old Miss Jackie. His wife, how she died on the tape. Well, not she made it out of surgery. She died. She had, she had. Yes, y'all. My spoon from the dollar store. I don't look like I love the dollar store's um silverware. Um, just cooking wear. Just these. Yeah, really. I'm tired. I'm all over the But yeah, I heard a lot of controversy. A lot of people, a lot of people going back and forth online about her death and stuff like that. And um, I guess the doctor who did it. He ended up taking off the picture. So I guess he posted a picture of her, and once she died, people found out it was him. He deleted it off his off his Instagram, which was so fucked up. I feel like, but I, I, I bring it up to say, first of all, God rest her soul. Now that my meat is chopped up, I'm gonna add back my my starter to saute vegetables. I'm let all that go and just season the pot while I talk to y'all. Hit hit him with my Tonys. I just feel like, like I said, God rest her soul, Lil Sasson. I honestly, one thing about me is since, and since having my baby, my baby don't took it all, okay? I, I, I'm, I'm flat as a cardboard back here. I'm freaking, you know, I breastfeed every day. So, obviously, you know, once you have a, once you have a baby, your body changes. A lot of people don't have the confidence that some might have. Simply because, you know, A, they're public figures or being not public figures, they just probably just don't have the confidence and they feel like they have to alter their body. Me personally, I pride myself for always being grateful for my body and knowing that my body gave life and this is how this is what produced my daughter's life and I'm still continuing to, you know, you know, produce her milk and how I'm able to feed and nurture her and stuff like that. Like I'm grateful that I'm grateful that that I, I don't, that insecurity doesn't fall onto me. That was a neat to know as I added to the pot, y'all. Um, hold on. Yeah, I'm glad that that doesn't fall into me because people be doing stuff to their bodies, to, you know what I'm saying? So I guess, you know, not only for their confidence, sometimes for their man or whoever, but I just feel like we have to normalize being okay with who we are. You get what I'm saying? I just feel like that's just something that we should be able to embrace, especially, especially if our body has given life. You know, we reproduce, recreated life. That in itself is a blessing. A lot of people, a lot of moms, or I mean, a lot of women cannot do that. Hold on, y'all. I'm bad, y'all. The English shifted. I had to, um, Kendall, Kendall was saying something to me. But yeah, like, nah. I, I just feel like we should really embrace, like I said, normalize and embrace in our bodies because. At the end of the day, this is what gave life. You know what I'm saying? Like we did, we did. We supposed to do which is reproduce. Again, a lot of women are not able to do so. Mmm. Mmm. Taste it one more time. I feel like it's missing something. I want to slap it with something, but I got to go into my fridge, my seasoning cabinet, see what I need. So. Put a pin in the conversation. Right now, I'm about to add a little bit of garlic paste. So I'm making like a garlic um, herb spread to go on top of the buns. That's how I feel doing my TikTok. Hold on, let me grab my Italian seasoning. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to see what I want to add to it. Let me add a little crushed red pepper. Into this, I'm about to add some Italian seasoning. And here in the photo, I'm gonna add a little 
steakhouse seasoning just because this is steak meat and boom. That should do the damn trick. That should do the trick. That should do the trick. Hold on, y'all. I don't know where the hell my brush is to, to brush the top bun, but we're going to freestyle it. All right, let me try it now. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Out right here. Turn it over here. That is, I don't like I said, but. Mm -hmm. This is my first time using garlic paste, by the way. I've seen a lot of recipes on TikTok that I really want to try. And a lot of them require, I mean, require garlic paste. So we're going to turn this off. We're going to remove this top bun, put it right here on the plate that I have. We're gonna just layer our meat on our bread. You wanna to try to do it as evenly as possible and already done. Yeah, y'all, I'm glad that I embrace my body. I don't give a fuck who don't like me, who don't like me. I mean, I already have my man, but shit, if I didn't have him, or God forbid one day we just decided to call it quits and whoever comes next or whatever, Listen, this body gave life, okay? And I'm going to give another life. So, if you can't accept, my neighbors is always playing music. I hope, I, I hope when I did this shit back, I don't hear it too much because they always blast the music down here, like, every day. Like, every day is a, a, a weekday or something, a weekend or something. So, this is the end look you know you want to spread all your meat guys i'm gonna eat the meat on the side huh? mm. it's just been so bomb you can use whatever cheese you want i just use i just saw that provolone was better and i got provolone cheese you're gonna put slices all over and you just want to put this in the oven until your cheese melt and get three more slices Yeah, y'all, yeah, just rest her soul. And I just, like, people he, he be body shaming and stuff and making people feel insecure. And it's just, it's just not nice. It's just not nice. All right, that's going. But now I'm going to put the top back on. Which two of my tops is trying to escape me. And this might be ghetto because, like I said, for some odd reason, I cannot find my little brush, so I'm going to just drizzle it. Honestly, if you had a brush, like a, a thingy brush to just brush it on, I would recommend doing that. Right now, this I gotta do, you know, we gotta make it happen, you know? I gotta do what I gotta do, you know? I gotta do it how I gotta do it. And if I gotta do it like that, rub it on, rub it on. That's what I'm gonna do. Rub it on, rub it on. So I wanna make sure each top so this is 12 sliders, by the way. I'm not gonna use all of it. I think I'll just leave it like that. And boom, y'all. Let's go ahead and pop this in the oven. Just until the cheese melts. So I'll be like about five minutes. I'm gonna turn my oven light on so I can watch it. I'm gonna wash these dishes, y'all, and we'll be back when it's finished. Stay tuned. The cheese is melted, so these are D-O-N-E. Wait till Kendall come home, which is, he'll be home in like about 20 minutes, and we'll taste test it together, y'all, so stay tuned. Take the first bite. Tell me how it tastes. Why well, I gotta take the first bite? You poison it? Yeah. Give me a scale out of 10, don't lie. Not bad at all. You want one out of ten? Yes, it's my first time making them. Nine and a half out of ten. We'll make it a ten. Mayo. Mayonnaise? Nah. 
put that in your own shit. <laughs> nah. Let me see. Pretty good, like, nice little sweetness. Savory. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Yeah, yeah, but no. I would Look, look, no. Look. I wouldn't want mayonnaise. You put mayonnaise on your own shit. But I'm saying, look at your face. You even, yeah, it, look. You know, it needs something. He want mayonnaise. I like it how it is. Um, we're gonna do an unboxing and different vlog. I'm tired. Look at him really got the mayonnaise. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know these bangers. Let me know if you have tried these before already, or if you were making. What would you add on it? Mm -hmm. This. That's too fuck. Goodbye. Love you guys. Peace out, sir.